Bulvulaka Fiji and welcome to Gold FM Speak Your Mind. Now, since 1956, a festival that has run its course in the, the capital city and has been renowned to be the mother of all festivals and the biggest in this region, in the Pacific, and uh, also synonymous with the name of the young man that you will meet shortly. Um, that um, has often been also renowned for certain other activities known throughout the festival. It is the Vodafone Fiji Hibiscus Festival, and we will be chatting about it for this year. And a name that you often you know, associate perhaps not really with the Friday night activity of Priscilla Night, but actually with the activities that actually happen through the course of the week. Bulabunaka, Mr. Linga Ngukisuba. Bula Pedeli, uh, greetings to all those that uh, listen to the program today. Uh, it's been uh, it's an honor for us to be here. And yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Since 1956, the Vodafone Hibiscus Festival has been in place in Fiji and has been happening in Fiji. Uh, we are four days away from the festival proper to happen. Mm -hmm. And we are quite happy and very thankful to the weather that we have here today. Well, it's it's been very it's been pretty kind to the organizers, yeah, holding out on the rain that uh, is typical of Suva. I guess it's a reflection of the good people that's in the committee. Ob obviously, obviously. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, none of those good people are here with us this morning. But, uh, hey, <laughs> Mr. Ngoki Suva, you are back as the public relations uh, officer for the event. And, you know, how has it been, the preparation so far? There's a change in the venue that has gotten everyone talking to, worrying about, is it too small? Or will they be able to do all the activities? Yeah, but, uh Good question. Uh, that's one of the challenges that we face this year. Uh, but if you look at in terms of the land uh, occupation that we have, mm -hmm. the one that we are carrying at the moment, it's actually what we need to hold the festival. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, in, you put into perspective uh, at the Albert Park, you see there's a big part of it from the tennis court to where the rides are, it's unutilized. That's right. But because of the massive size of Albert Park, it, it feels like that the one that Carpenters for sure uh, may not be able to cater, but uh, surprisingly, uh -huh. and thank goodness, uh, <laughs> we are able to fit everything within the parameters of the Carpenters for sure. Uh, we did our launch, uh, our pre cocktail uh, last uh, Saturday. Uh, we also putting up pegs and we've been marking the whole area. And the one thing that uh, we really enjoy about having this new venue, it actually bring us, bring everything closer together. So you won't have a stall that's far off to the uh, right-hand right. side, yeah. or you won't have a participant that's on their own on the left-hand side of the ground. Within the sphere of the ground, <coughs> walking distance, uh, whatever uh, uh, the whatever that's uh, broadcast from the stage or any even from the stage, at any point on the ground, except if you're standing behind the tent, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see what's, uh, what's been on display. And that's the beauty about this new venue. It has allowed us to... Uh, uh, put together an event or you allow us to put us in a way that we become centralized, irrespective of where you're standing. So as soon as you walk in, you can see what's happening on the main stage. As soon as uh, you go to the horticulture, so agriculture, so you can see what's happening on the main stage. Okay. So it's give a, a bit of a concave perspective okay. to the festival setup. Well, it actually works well for those who are actually going to come in to, to uh, visit and also look at the other stalls too. Are the same number of stalls available for the... Um, not as much as what we have last year, uh -huh. uh, but in terms of participation, almost everyone that okay. were part of the event last year are here with us this year. Uh, the only thing that we uh, uh, had to work on is available of space of and ensuring space. Uh, that the key critical participant have a venue for them to showcase uh, their product services uh -huh. or to do what they do uh, in the past years. Okay. Now, in terms of the uh, float procession, Yes, and they'll be entering. Will the floats come in, or will they be making the rounds around Sukuna Park? Is there has that been? We uh, they will come through the uh, front of Sukuna Park, which is in between Sukuna Park, uh, McDonald Road, mm -hmm. and then make their way into Civic Center. They will actually go onto the ground. Oh, uh, so it actually yeah, makes it into the ground. The, ground. Uh, uh, the the concept, the logistic of the festival remains the same. Okay. The only thing that's different is the venue that we're holding it. Uh, but one thing we can assure you, Pedeli, the festival is happening this year. <laughs> uh, we are. At, so far, we are quite thankful. We are very thankful with the weather that we get. And if this holds until Friday, uh, it will lay a very uh, awesome platform for the festival proper to commence Friday evening and towards the next uh, the 10 days of festivity. Okay. In, in terms of what to expect during the week, what are, is there anything new that we are going to be looking forward to? or Are we going to still have the same things that we expect of Hibiscus? In terms of the program, uh, remains the same. Uh -huh. But those that are participating, we have different groups. We have some visiting uh, 
uh, international groups that be coming in and performing. Uh, I don't want to see you don't too want to much, s- you don't want to share too the much. The only thing that I want to uh, the only thing that I can uh, that I want to uh, inform the public for you to know what we do. You need to be at the venue. You need to be uh, up. Yeah, you need to come down to the Hibiscus Festival to see all these uh, uh, performances and all these activities that we have. Uh, you know, as as we build up towards Friday, as we get closer and closer to the festival, uh, it, it it's a very good it's a real good feeling. When you walk around Super City and you just feel the festivity more that everyone is anticipating, you know the conversation, the the, the, the discussion around the Tanoa, uh, the build up on the media has been very, has been amazing. Uh, we anticipate this year to be uh, uh, the support to be as amazing as what we had in the past years, mm-hmm. and we we with the weather in mind, we are we are hopeful that everything will turn out the way we are planning to be. Now, in terms, of this is a charitable event. Many often say and often uh, think that uh, it's it's a business. It's a business. Well, it, in a way, it is the way. It's, but it is still a charitable um, uh, yes, it event. Is. And how are how are you with uh, in terms of charity that was raised last year? Uh, was that was a great <coughs> success as it was, and in even the previous years? Uh, what are we looking at this year? Is you anticipating the same kind of response and the same success? Definitely, we are targeting something higher than what we did last year. Pedel, uh, if you, if I must, if you can allow me, mm-hmm. uh, since two thousand and six, we've distributed over a million dollars in charitable funds. Eh? Uh, last year, we gave about about over ninety six thousand uh, dollars to various organizations. Uh, in the early days, uh, when I say early days, I mean when Vodafone started uh, sponsoring the event in two thousand and six to two thousand and nine. If I'm, I stand corrected, the distribution of funds was only to the Suba surrounding area. Right. If you look at in the past few years, it has now benefited the whole of uh, Fiji. Uh, not only for the surrounding super areas, it has gone far out as Rakiraki, Tavua, Lambasa. So the festival has lived up this name. Uh, right. It's an event for the whole of Fiji. And the funds that have uh, been raised through the Hibiscus Charity Chest has benefited those who need the fund the most. Uh, and it's 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 And it's very... Um, you do have a co- committee that looks at which um, organizations, which uh, who will re- or the recipients that are. Going we to actually, at the end of the festival, we put out a uh, a press ad uh, mm-hmm. calling people. If you want to, uh, if you want a share of the Hibiscus Charity Test, you write in. You give us a scope of the work that you do, and then through the criteria that is set out by the committee, funds are allocated accordingly. So, if you look at the past five years, uh, we've managed to distribute the fund to various organizations. Not only one organization has been uh, a recipient of the fund, mm-hmm. it, it's been uh, spread out to other organizations according to the scope of the work that they, that they are uh, after. You know, some of the scope of the work are as low as 1,500, but they allocated fund to a system uh, with some of the projects that they have in mind. Okay, we'll talk, chat a little bit more with Mr. Lee Ngukisuva from the uh, Hibiscus Events Group uh, Incorporated, who will be, well, the host for the week long festival that we anticipate, Fiji Hibiscus. Back on, uh, well, Gold FM, speak your mind. Uh, and uh, with me is Mr. Linga Ngukisuva, uh, the public relations officer for this year's Vodafone Fiji Hibiscus. And uh, Touching to us a little bit about what to expect. Now, this year, like you said, a small event, as well in terms of land size, but still the same things that we are to expect. We'll still have a careers village and uh, the expo um, <coughs> with uh, the various uh, handicrafts and, uh, and and all that still happening. Yes, Pedeli, definitely. Uh, this year, we the, the one that's been very popular in the past years are uh, uh, also participating this year. We have the Careers Expo Corner. We also have the Financial Institution Corner. Mm-hmm. Uh, over the past three years, the Financial Institutional uh, Area has been very successful in uh, uh, providing uh, financial literacy That's for right. those that want to understand more about financial transaction, about loans, about uh, savings and all these things. Eh? It's an ideal time too. The school holidays and the kids come in for the break. The parents come in from various parts of the country. I was going to say, uh, it's, it's uh, apart from its festivity, mm. uh, the uh, festival also provides a lot of educational awareness right. for our children. Uh, we also have the uh, medical corner, the medical tent, with the support of Ministry of Health. We thank them for their continuous support. They'll also be there to provide some free clinic and also advices on uh, some, uh, some of the crises that we are facing at the moment. Mm. Uh, we are also uh, in uh, partnership with the Fiji Arts Council, uh, they will have some of their members uh, displaying arts, craft, and some of the work that they do uh, in terms of promoting 
Fiji made pro- producers or promoting art and craft uh, 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 artwork that they uh, normally display for public uh, p- uh, purchase. Eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, these are the popular ones that will be also be participating in this year. And like you mentioned, it's during the school holidays. You know, what, what perfect time for your children to come down, uh, mm-hmm. apart from the festivity, apart from the rides and the sweets and the barbecue, uh, it's also given a perfect opportunity to come and learn some things uh, that I'm sure is part of the curriculum activities or curriculum learning for those in higher education. That's right. uh, we also have the kindy at the park where you have uh, a parents who wants to come and drop their kids for the day. This is, this is relatively mm-hmm. new, huh? Uh, it started it, a couple of it started what, uh, two, years, uh, two ago, years ago, and it's been very popular. Yes. You, know? uh, you have a lot of parents that are working, uh, but because of school holiday, they mm-hmm. can, the kids are not in school. You can very much bring them to the park, and they be part of the kindy on the park program, where you leave them there for the day. You do your activities, come back and pick in the afternoon. And, and these are very, uh, qualified people who, who are they the are program. registered uh, registered kindergarten teachers that are doing this. Uh, and I um, tell you, in the past years that we've had in the park, it has. Uh, really brought out the sound and the colors of the festival, <laughs> having our young children, you know, uh, not only there to enjoy the uh, festivity, but make new friends mm-hmm. and get to see uh, what happens a day at the Hibiscus Festival. Because I'm sure a lot of them understand the Hibiscus Festival from what they see in the evening program. That's right. Uh, but when you come during the day, you'll be amazed uh, the amount of uh, things that you can do uh, during the, uh, the day program. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, even in the past years, uh, you mentioned the Ministry of Health, um, uh, the cooperation with the Ministry of Health. They also have, um, uh, at one point, at one, uh, in one year, the theme of hibiscus was combating NCDs. NCDs. Yes. And it was really, really, um, uh, we were surprised to see, well, not surprised really, we were grateful to see a lot of people turning up to the Ministry of Health um, uh, tent. And it has become ever so popular ever since. Just me <laughs> noticing this, because I go there for my medical checkups now. <laughs> you are not alone, Peter. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, to reiterate what you said, that's correct. Um, and uh, if I'm correct, in the, in, during last year's festival, I think they were clocking between 1,200 to 2,000 people a day uh, right. visiting the attendance, getting advices, getting free checks, and um, wanting to know more about some of the messages that they were advocating. Uh, you mentioned uh, two, three years ago, mm-hmm. we used NCD as a theme for Hibiscus for mm-hmm. two years uh, consecutively. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are very happy with the outcome of that partnership. And Minister of Health re- came back to us and uh, mentioned how much uh, of awareness we had created through the platform of Hibiscus uh, event. And, you know, I want to say this, uh, I, 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 I want to say this, Pedele, even though it's a festival, but uh, it can, if you, uh, if you want to advocate some things that are of national interest or national importance or something of a national crisis, the Hibiscus uh, Festival is a platform for you to do that. Uh, apart from the media coverage, apart from the program that happens on a daily basis, there's also the contestant advocating things of importance. That's right. And, yes. you know, uh, if you go through the interviews that they've been having, the media coverage, the public participations and all, it's uh, really encouraging to see that young people are using the festival as a platform to advocate things that they hold dear to themselves or they feel that's important for people to know and understand. You know, and uh, also, uh, as of um, uh, last week, the United Nations have launched their own um, LGBT um, a campaign in, in terms of uh, equal uh, equality for all those um, uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and uh, transgender. And Hibiscus, just like uh, uh, the festivals across the country, have also embraced this with Priscilla Night. And Priscilla Night has also proven to be one of the most <laughs> uh, the, uh, most popular events, too. Actually, it's uh, Andy Senecal. It's Andy Senecal, yes. excuse me. I'm saying Priscilla. That's a different festival. Priscilla was in Nandi last That's right, week. yes. Well, forgive me, but that's right. Andy yeah. Senecal. Yes. Andy Senecal has become also one of the most um, popular events. It is the most popular event uh, in the calendar of the Hibiscus. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> uh, you'll be lucky to get a ticket uh, this time next week. Uh, no, it's your only sellout. Uh, apart from the, uh, uh, the creativity and the fun associated to the event, they also uh, use the platform to uh, create awareness on, on, on items that are of, in, of uh, importance and interest to them as well. Eh? Absolutely. Uh, yes, uh, I, uh, I agree with the statement that you uh, mentioned. Uh, people are coming out to use the festival to advocate on, uh, on items or on uh, things that they feel that's uh, of importance to them.
Okay, so with these, you mentioned tickets. Now, with uh, the events, there are ticketed events also. Yes. And you have a partner that you're working with in terms of selling these tickets. <laughs> and how do we get in our hands for those who are watching and listening this uh, afternoon? Thank you, Pedeli. Uh, last Friday, we uh, reaffirmed, you know, signed, re-signed our partnership with the Motor, the Motor Brothers. Uh, they are our ticketing partner. So if for those that wanted to come down, to the festival and thankfully we're having it at the carpenters for sure so if you come through the bus stand you can stop at village six buy your ticket or you can come to the ground itself they will have a damoda uh, brothers uh, ticket there that will be selling uh, the tickets on the ground or for those that coming through the rewanga mm-hmm. Watonga corridor you have the damoda city there so there in terms of um, uh, availability of tickets in terms of accessibility to the ground uh, damoda you covered all right well in terms of prices <laughs> what are we looking at relatively so that the parents can start planning on it's uh it's it's between three to five dollars per day oh, we, we want to make it as affordable as it is uh, bearing in mind it's a community uh, event it's a family oriented event uh the last thing you want to do is to become a barrier for people to come and watch the show uh, we want to make it as affordable as possible and mm-hmm. at the same time to make it uh, available in different sectors uh, of the town and city for people to be able to access it prior to coming to the ground. Oh, it's just a couple of days away, and obviously you're a very busy man. Before you run on off and get all hibiscus again, Mr. Mokisuva, any final uh, words you'd like to get, let everyone else know about hibiscus? Thank you, Pedil. Uh, f- before I go off air, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, FBC uh, for their support and for assisting the committee in creating the awareness and assuring the public that the festival will happen this year. Uh, we are four days away. Uh, the work, the preparation work has been uh, up to our, uh, has been on par with our plan uh, and members of the public use the uh, time to come down and be part of the Vodafone Hibiscus Festival. It's happening. Uh, Friday night is our first official program. Saturday we're having the opening month. Mm-hmm. So if you want to be part of the festivity, if you want to be part of the vibrancy of the event, mm-hmm. you can join us at the flea market or you can wait for us at the Carpenters for sure uh, as we kickstart the 2015 Vodafone Hibiscus Festival. Hey, thank you very much for making the time to be with us this afternoon. Pleasure. And uh, we look forward to seeing Mr. Ngoki Suva up on stage as well with the Queens and the Queens on Friday night. So that's the Alisin Kao part. I, I hear that you are part of the pageant. <laughs> yes? I reserve my comments for later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gokisuba, and coming up, we also have some of the ladies that are going to be featured at this year's Vodafone Fiji Hibiscus. Welcome back to Gold FM's Speak Your Mind. And uh, as you've heard before the break, or perhaps just joining us now, well, feel free to also call in with your comments or questions, 3 and 3 907 We're discussing one of the longest-running uh, festivals in our country, one that was established in 1956 and also graced us with the beautiful young ladies that vie for the crown. And I'm grateful that apart from Mr. Ngoki Suva's beauty that has graced us already, I'm being graced by another two beautiful young ladies. And welcome to the show, Miss Sky Glory, Anupa, Anupam, excuse me, Anupam Prashika. And also a very good afternoon to you, Miss Fulton Hogan Highways. And it's uh, Arishma Seshleen Prasad. Now, how are you doing, ladies? Yes, you're just a couple of days away from hibiscus. <laughs> what, how are you feeling, uh, Arishma? Well, I'm feeling really happy. I'm really... Uh, well and overwhelmed that uh, finally hibiscus has arrived and it's just in the corner so getting all things organized before the hibiscus event uh, really begin yeah and, uh, everything is uh, really exciting getting all very excited yeah. and i'm and i'm sure uh, you are too anupam yeah yes now uh, what's the rush been like have you been able to get everything in order and sorted before friday um yes actually um I am trying to get everything sorted before Friday. <laughs> and yes, it's exciting. And at the same time, it's a bit hectic as well. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine. There's been weeks of preparations. You girls have gotten the t- some time to get to know each other a little bit. Yes, yes, yes we have. And uh, how has that been? How's, what's the camaraderie amongst the girls been for you this year? How do you feel about each other? Um, uh, this uh, this was a great opportunity to meet my 12 other sisters and get to know them really well. It's like um, uh, it's a competition for the crown, but at the same time, we all are closely knit as mm-hmm. a family and we all are there for each other. Yes. yes. 
Now, is there any particular part of the festival that you're looking forward to? Is there any particular day? I'll, I'll start with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm looking forward to every day. <laughs> oh, you're looking forward yes. to every day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, what about you, Arishva? Well, I'm re really looking forward to every day <laughs> because uh, finally it has arrived. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the most uh, biggest night, I'm waiting for the Bollywood night. Okay. Because uh, I'll be wearing my Lucknowi sari, which uh, indicates that uh, my ancestors are from uh, Lucknow city in Uttar Pradesh in India. Mm -hmm. So just really looking forward to the week. Is, is this the first time that you're going to be putting on an attire like that? It will be the first time where I'll be wearing the Lucknowi sari. Lucknowi sari. So I'm really looking forward. Yeah. Well, what about um, you also have your talent and you've got presentation on uh, Friday. Friday yes. That's the first thing that you're going to be tackling. And without giving thing, any, anything away, now, how, how, prepared, how well prepared are you? Very? Let's <laughs> yes. just, I, I would just say that I'm still working on it. Are you still working on <laughs> it? Yes. We're okay. still working on a project. Uh -huh. We have to present it on Friday. Uh -huh. So hopefully it's done by then. All right. Well, I wish you luck with that presentation. But what about uh, everything else with in terms of wardrobe? Have you, have you got that all sorted uh, for the different theme nights and yes. days? <laughs> yes, yes, that is sorted. Yeah. Yes. How difficult has it been for you to get all this? How, have you been having a lot of support from your family, perhaps all your sponsors? How, how much of support have you been getting? I'll ask you first, Arishma. Um, first of all, my sponsors, uh, Fulton Hogan Highways, has been really supportive towards... Uh, Organizing my attires and stuff, uh, helping financially in terms of uh, communication and transportation and stuff. And uh, my families are also really supportive. So I guess our coordinators and the Hibiscus event group, all of them are really supportive towards uh, our preparations. Now, so uh, okay, well, that, that's really good. Now, is it the same, the same for you? Uh, yes, um, but uh, I've been doing uh, pretty much everything on my own. <laughs> yes, because my sponsors, uh, this is the first time for Sky Glory to sponsor mm -hmm. a queen. And there's just the two of them who are looking after four shops. So they really don't have time to be with me personally. But uh, yes, my family is helping me a lot. And my coordinator and the Hege team as well. Okay, well, I'm going to have to, this is perhaps I should have done this earlier, but I'm going to ask you to t talk a little bit about <laughs> your sponsors and how you got into <laughs> the hibiscus, um, uh, if, well, in the whole event. Is this something that you've always wanted to do? Uh, well, uh, my friends and my family were asking me to enter hibiscus from the year 2007, mm -hmm. but I never did. And then later on, I completed my uh, high school and then I started uh, in FSN. And then uh, just this year, I got transferred to a CWM hospital. So I just decided to give it a shot. And my mom was the one who motivated me. So Anupam, you're a nurse. Yes, I'm a registered nurse. <laughs> you're a registered nurse and you're sponsored by Sky Glory. Yes. Uh, Sky Glory is, what, what is Sky Glory? Uh, Sky Glory is a variety shop. It's located in Cumming Street. Uh -huh. That's their major branch. And they have other branches in Nakasi, Nosori, and uh, one is in Nendi. Okay. Yes, they basically sell household items, stationery, and uh, baby diapers and everything, yes. Okay. And what about you, Arishma? What do you do? <laughs> Firstly, um, it's my second year at uh, Fiji National University, where I'm studying trade diploma in customs. Oh. And uh, through my uh, application, we had uh, interviews and auditions as well. So we were selected through it. And then... Uh, we our folders were made our profile so it was uh, sent to the uh, sponsors mm -hmm. and then my sponsors chose me it's also their first time to uh, present a queen so uh, the fulton hogan highways is a civil engineering construction company mostly works on the road constructions and uh, yeah it's now, amazing. have you had you always wanted to be in hibiscus Yes, it yes. has always been my dream because uh, for almost so many years I see the girls on the stage and, you know, like it's really fun to see them and mm -hmm. how they present themselves mm -hmm. and all the nights. And it, it was always my dream to take part on it. Mm -hmm. So, All right, uh, Anupam, I'm going to ask you, what is, is, what is uh, the one thing that made you decide, okay, this year is the year I'm going to enter? What made you finally make that decision? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's a good question. Um, I, I came to town with my mom on the last day they had their road shows uh-huh. at Tapu City. So we were just walking along Cumming Street and then I asked my mom, Mom, should I get a firm and apply? And then she said, yes, go ahead. We've been telling you to do this for so long. So I just took the form and then I did not fill it in. <laughs> I left it for a week and then I just thought of applying. So yes, and then later on after a week I got a call. Yes, so... Now, um, Arishma, what about you? <coughs> did you like get driven into this too by your family and friends? Actually, I did it secretly. You I did it secretly? <laughs> okay. I downloaded the application form from the net uh-huh. and then I just uh, filled it and then I sent it through and then I was selected. Well, ladies, I'm going to have to wish you a very good luck on the, your preparations just a few days away. And is there any last comments you'd like to let everyone know in Fiji? Yeah, I'll start with you, Rishma. Sure. Um, please feel free to uh, vote in uh, QA, that's my initials, QA to 818 for right. Miss Fulton Hagen Highways. Like All right. Good luck. And here's just a message to the youth. Um, be who you are. There's no need to uh, copy somebody else. You are all unique and beautiful in your own ways. And uh, eat responsibly, respect your elders, and uh, try not to uh, be too obsessed with social media because Mm. there's so many other things outside your room, outside your home that you can uh, engage in. Um, Physical activity is really important. And yes, to vote for me, you can text my initials QAP to 818. Well, ladies, good luck again. And I will be seeing you through the course of the week. Yes, thank you. And thank you for taking the time for coming to join us on the show. Thank you. you. All right, we'll continue with Gold FM Speak Your Mind right after this short break. We are talking Vodafone Fiji Hibiscus. Welcome back to Gold FM Speak Your Mind. And uh, I'm lucky to be continuously graced by beauty this uh, morning, also, apart from uh, Mr. Ngoki Suba. But uh, <laughs> joining me in studio now is uh, a beautiful young lady representing a new a new company that I, I'm, I'm sure she'll explain a little bit about this. Sunishma Singh, welcome to the show. Hello, Fidelian. Thank you for having me here. Well, you're most welcome. And uh, your sponsors, Cal Valley Solar. Solar. Actually, my company is uh, originally from U.S. It's their second year uh-huh. in a hibiscus festival and also in Fiji. Um, they are uh, one of the renewable energy company, which uh, deals with solar panels. And uh, yeah, it's one of the great uh, solution towards climate change. Now, um, uh, Sudeshma, what do you do? Actually, I'm a first year student at, uh, uh-huh. at the University of the South Pacific, uh-huh. receiving my majors in geospatial science and geography. Ah, so uh, this, is, uh, this is all very, I mean, you have very uh, interesting fields of study that many of the young ladies vying for this year's crown. Now, what made you want to join Hibiscus? Um, for me, it was one of the, I mean, it was one of my dream, a 12-year-old dream. A 12-year-old <laughs> dream. Okay, let's hear about this. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I was in class two, then I told my mom like, then that uh, I really want to be up on that stage. Mm-hmm. And then from there, every year, I look at the queens, how they speak, how they present themselves, and how they do their presentation, I mean, their research topics and, and all the other things. So, yeah, this year, actually, I had the things, I mean, some of the things were there which really discouraged me not to take part. One of them was my birthmark. Oh. So, but my friend, she's, uh, she's my best friend, and she, she was the one who did my application, and uh, then I got selected for the audition, and then I went for the audition, but she wasn't there with me. She was doing her exam. So I, did, I went for, for the audition, and then I got a call the next day that I was selected. Now, why were you, why were you, very, con- were you very conscious of your birthmark? <laughs> And I don't know, I think so it was my mindset. Okay. And then my coordinator, she really encouraged me. And then she told me that it's God gifted, just show it off. Okay. And now may I ask where this uh, uh, birthmark is? It's here. Oh, it's on your shoulder. Okay, okay. Well, this is going to be very interesting <laughs> through the course of this week. But how have your preparations been? It's just a couple of days away. How are you feeling? Oh my God, my school and my preparation towards high school, it's like, <laughs> but it's it's going great. After this, I'm going shopping. Now you also <laughs> <laughs> the shopping is the good part, yeah. 
Now, now um, uh, there is uh, also um, uh, an issue that you are advocating for in this year's uh, hibiscus. Yes, now, ma'am. what's your issue? Uh, my advocacy message is the use of renewable energy to reduce the impact of climate change in our economy, since I'm sponsored by Kale Valley Solar. Oh, that really ties in very well with you. Yeah. So, uh, have uh, have there been any interesting uh, visits, perhaps you've made as with the rest of your, your, the other queens? Um, well, I mean, we will be visiting a village tomorrow. Um, looking at the at the climate change effects okay. on that village. So, and uh, what about for the rest of the week? Is there any particular part? I'm sure as a child, there was something about hibiscus you always look forward to. So, what was it for you? Float. The floats? <laughs> yeah? The floats. So, that was the big day for you, going to it see is. the floats. It will be going to be, I mean, it's going to be a really big day for me. You've always dreamt of sitting up on the float, right? Always. <laughs> and it's going to happen next, not this Saturday, but the following <laughs> Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. And uh, how have the preparations with that? Do you know anything of your float yet? Or you have yet to speak with that with your sponsors? Um, no, it, I have asked my sponsor and he said not to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to be watching out for that too. Now, what about for the rest of the week with the other young ladies? Uh, how, how, how well have you um, uh, gelled with the other queens? Well, my other 12 sisters, uh, they're all great. They're all up to expectations. And uh, I just love being with them. I was just sit- I was sitting there, and uh, I was thinking that I'm really gonna miss them. <laughs> Haven't even started. You're already thinking, already <laughs> missing them. <laughs> At times we chat uh, like we have a Viber group, and then we chat late till twelve. I don't know how it's gonna how it will be. <laughs> I'm sure it will continue after hibiscus. Yes. Sure. <laughs> now they've uh, also you've also got uh, a couple of events throughout the course of the of the week, and uh, there's the presentation that you start off this Friday. Are you ready for that? Are you working on it. Working <laughs> on it. Yeah. And also coming up with your talent. So without giving thing any anything away, you don't want to give anything away yet, right? Or would you like to share it with us? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I should just ask, but already and uh, so uh, with that. Um. I'm actually practicing my talent okay. nowadays, and I have started working on my research topic as well. So, yeah, it should it's, be fine. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, getting what's completed. <laughs> well, how's the support been like for you? Have your friends and family been very supportive? The support has been great with uh, from my family, friends, and also from my sponsor. Okay, well, uh, again, for before we wrap up uh, our uh, our talk, um, I'm just going to ask: Is there any specific message that you'd like to let uh, everyone else or let the country know? Well, guys, if there's anything that holds you back, please do not hesitate. If you really want to com- I mean, have your dream come true, please just walk towards it. Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, well, Sunishma Singh, Miss Cal Valley Solar. And good luck to you this week. Thank you so much, Fideli. All right. Well, have a good day. And uh, don't go anywhere because we still have Miss FBC for the Vodafone Fiji Hibiscus 2015 coming up. Welcome back to Gold FM, Speak Your Mind. And, uh, well, in uh, 2012, we, uh, the Fiji Broadcasting Corporation was a runner-up in the, the title for the uh, a Queen. And also in 2013, Miss Priscilla Reddy was Miss Hibiscus and was Miss FBC for 2013 and successfully claimed the crown. Wasn't so successful last year, but this year we're vying for it again, as we do here at the Fiji Broadcasting Corporation. And joining me now is Miss FBC for 2015, Miss Nelisha Omara. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Bula Padeli, how are you? I'm very well. And how are you doing? The voice is a little bit... Uh, mm, yes. Yes, just... just but, but you've got to save it because you've got the whole week left to yes. still to come. I'm, I'm, I'm being very... I'm being very stingy about my voice at the moment. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm grateful that you actually um, uh, give us some time uh, for the interview. Thank you. And what, well, first of all, who, uh, who is Nelisha Umrao and where does she come from and why have you joined this year's pageant? Okay. I'm Bill, I'll be very honest. Nelisha Umrao is, is a very jovial person. I am a very spontaneous person as well. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Lotoka, so yay, but blues, right? <laughs> and um, I'm a third year student at the College of Medicine. I'm doing my bachelor's in medical laboratory science. And I joined Hibiscus this year because um, when I was at home, I used to have a lot of time 
to to volunteer at the old age home to participate with the girl guides and the scouting activities with my parents mm-hmm. and when i came to suva <clears throat> excuse me this is my third year in suva i realized that i've been very selfish with my time i haven't been doing anything for anybody else it's just me movies my friends time to eat so i decided that okay maybe it's time i did something more mm-hmm. like i used to before hence hibiscus okay and uh, you also have a, an issue that you're advocating on this week yes. which also ties in with the work that you used to do before in uh, in the west right yes definitely and that you've already <coughs> ventured out to the uh, senior citizens home in samambula and so along with some of the staff of fbc now how has that fared for you oh it was a, it was a very nice experience and i would like to thank my sponsors fbc for making that happen for me and i was very fortunate that you guys all of you the whole fbc crew was very helpful and i did manage to go down last week uh, tuesday i believe and um, we we spent time with them you were there and uh, we took them a few gifts and stuff like that and being there i realized that uh, they they need so much more than only our love and care mm-hmm. they need the material things as well and i was really saddened to see to see the men over there who are old enough to be my grandparents trying to squeeze into t-shirts which is smaller for them like a size smaller for them and grandmas elderly ladies who are walking in the on the tiles in this cold weather without socks or slippers and then i realized oh my god look at us i would buy a sock to to make my outfit look cute so hence i decided and i talked it over with the fpc people that uh, we could have another drive which we're doing right now okay and collect pre-loved co- clothes excuse me and warm clothes as well so we can give out to these people and i believe we're doing this on thursday that's right on yes. thursday well so already the work has um, started for you and uh, you continue with this as you head into hibiscus how much of a juggle have you got that with <laughs> what you are you're a student and entering hibiscus i've spoken to the other queens they also are students all are trying to manage with <laughs> their time how have you been faring with this i'll be very honest it's been very hectic i I just don't know how I manage it honestly but um this whole hibiscus experience has taught me a lot about myself as well. I've realized how to manage under pressure because I have to attend classes and FSM has a very hectic schedule. I can't imagine. And yes, we have like 8 to 5 classes all day long and then I have to practice rehearsals, outfits and talents. Yes. You got your wardrobe to sort. My sort. wardrobe, wardrobe is always important for a girl. <laughs> <laughs> so it it's been very hectic. Yes. but also i've learned a lot about time management mm-hmm. and i've realized the importance of time management i've realized the importance of functioning properly under pressure so it's been an enlightening journey as well you know not only this you mentioned that you're from the west so i'm going to have to ask you had you ever been to hibiscus festivals before yes okay. um my parents uh, and i the whole family this four of us mom dad and my little sister we always come down to okay. hibiscus festival because it's a school break and my parents are teachers as well so we always come down hibiscus festival we do stick around on th- saturday to watch the floats but mostly it's about the rides and the food okay. <laughs> so what would be the one thing that as a child you always looked forward to for hibiscus candy floss <laughs> <laughs> now i thought that that would be the answer <laughs> i have a very sweet tooth i love candy floss i would do anything for candy floss <laughs> <laughs> now for this week Is there any particular event that you're looking forward to for this week? For, for at least oh, excuse me for the week of hibiscus for the okay. week of hibiscus. Um the week of hibiscus it's going to be a very interesting week because there's going to be something new every day from our talent to uh sarong night the public judging um but also during the day would be doing this community projects will be attending the yellow ribbon tent okay. probably a, a baby show So I'm very much looking forward to the community work that we will be getting done finally and the charity events as well. But um I'll be honest, I'll tell you a little secret. I'm very much looking forward to going on the rides as well because <laughs> I was told that <laughs> we can't go out to the grounds like we do every year <laughs> as a normal person. So I think that's a a little sad part about being a contestant. So I'm looking forward to the time they'll give us to go to the grounds and eat and go on the rides and play on the <laughs> bouncy castle or something. <laughs> well, you'll be the first one that's anticipating <laughs> that one too. <laughs> Now, the um uh, your issue, um uh, your issue that you are advocating and you've also started this close the close drive with your sponsors. This will continue and will be di- the close distributed on Thursday. Yes. 
Now, what would be, like, if after this, after Hibiscus, yeah, should you be uh, crowned the Hibiscus Queen or not? Will yeah. you continue? Will you continue with work similar to this? Yes, definitely. Because I, I consider myself to be a woman, a lady of action more than words. And I also believe that actions speak louder than words. So it's, it's not a one-time thing that I want to do. Hence, me joining Hibiscus because whatever I would be doing on my own would be on a very small scale. So joining Hibiscus and with the privilege of having FBC as my sponsor, whatever I want to do is being done on a larger scale. Okay. That means that I get to reach out to a far more people than I would be able to do on my own. Okay. And if given the opportunity to be a queen this year, or if not, I would still like to carry on with this. And if were given the crown, I would also have the opportunity to carry on with the advocacy topics and the whatever the other queen contestants, my other sisters are trying to do as well. So that would be a very great opportunity. Well, unfortunately, time has caught up with us on the show. But before we go, and final words heading into Hibiscus, what's your, what's, your, what's your take for Hibiscus and also your advice to um, the youth of today? Okay. To the youth of today, I'd like to tell you all, which is my advocacy message this year, is that we need to take responsibility for the elderly people in our society. We have seen nowadays that the number of our elderly parents and grandparents in the old age homes is increasing, and we need to take care of our own. They didn't abandon us when we were young, and we should not abandon them when they need our love and care. Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest um, uh, message that I would mm -hmm. like to give out to the youth. And uh, also to come down to Hibiscus Festival, enjoy, which is what Hibiscus is about. And don't forget to vote for me. <laughs> okay, how do they vote for you again? And to vote for me is your Miss People's Choice. You need to text in Q and U to 818. My initials, Q and U. Alicia Omra, good luck to you. Thank you so much, Fadeli. And uh, well, we hope either of the, either you or any of the ladies that we spoke with this morning will be back again after the show as Miss Hibiscus. Good luck for the week. Thank you so much. And uh, that's a wrap for us this uh, afternoon. Well, this uh, <laughs> this uh, this week, <laughs> excuse me. And uh, again, looking forward to uh, hearing from you with your comments on goldfm at nbc dot com dot fj. This is uh, goldfm. Speak your mind for this week. You have yourselves a great time.